How's it going everybody? Welcome back to today's video. In this one, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to rank up fast in Black Ops 4. After doing a little bit of research and obviously playing the game myself, I think I've gathered enough information on how XP in this game works and the best methods to gaining XP and obviously to getting to those prestiges that we all want to get to. Now obviously there's nothing special that like Korean Savage or Dismo or anyone that's really prestiged over the last few days. There's nothing special about what they've been doing. They've just been playing a lot, but if you're someone that can't play heaps, um, this video is just for you because I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips on just how to increase the XP that you get um, and obviously rank up levels super quickly. With that being said, let's get right into the first and one of the most important things that you guys need to do to get a lot of XP and that is game modes. You need to choose the game modes that you play wisely. Um, obviously some game modes is for some people. Um, I found personally that there's a lot of game modes in the game currently that I don't enjoy, but um, there's a lot of good game modes in this game. I think Control is probably the most popular at the moment. Chaos TDM is definitely up there as well. My biggest tip is to play objective based games. They're probably the best for ranking up. Just try and get heaps of kills on the objectives and play as much objective as possible. Obviously getting heaps of points from playing objective, from capping the objectives, you know, Domination is perfect for that. When you get a kill on the objective, I think you get like, definitely get a bonus, which is very, very good. Hard points also really good. Controlled is good. And just all the objective based game modes are just very, very, very good for gaining XP. So the playlist I reckon you guys should be playing is probably either Capture Mosh Pit, which includes Controlled, Domination and Hard Point, or Chaos TDM, which is 6v6, TDM and 6v6 kill confirm. The next tip that I have for you guys is play in a party with some friends to win games because winning games um, It's happened previously. It's also still a thing in Black Ops 4 You get a certain amount of match bonus after every single game if you win a game that match bonus doubles So you want to be winning as many games as possible and playing solo isn't really the best And on the other hand playing in a five or six man will not be beneficial either because you won't be getting kills and the games will tend to go a lot quicker. My advice is just to play with one or two of your friends, maximum three man I reckon, so you guys can still get a good amount of kills and sort of carry your team, if that makes sense. Not in a cocky way, but just to like help your team, because like I'll admit some people in this game are either really good or really bad, and if you don't have the best teammates on your team, um, and you've got a good two man, three man, you guys should be all good. It's just a lot better than playing solo and not always guaranteeing that win. A lot of XP that you guys get is based on the medals that you get, so Try and play as aggressively as possible to get a bunch of kills. Um, that's probably one of the most important things is getting kills in this game is very, very important because you get a headshot, you get a certain amount of XP. You get a Kingslayer medal, you get a certain amount of XP. These are very important and this is obviously where most of the XP comes from. So if you guys are getting heaps of kills in games, um, you, you obviously should be able to stack up that XP. Try and get gun camos. I've already got gold on two weapons and the process up to it gives you a lot of XP. XP, as you guys can see on your screen right now. Here is all the XP that you actually get in the lead up to getting gold, and then I, I end up showing you guys diamond and dark matter. I don't know the exact amount of total XP that you get, but obviously the smallest amounts will help because some of the early levels, you know, like one of those camos might be a quarter of the level. This doesn't mean that you spend all day trying to get a gun gold. Just maybe get one or two within the first prestige to just sort of get your flow going, get that XP, um, and it'll also speed up the process in getting dark matter in the long term. The next step is a bit of a unique one and that is to prestige your weapons. Now personally I haven't been a fan of prestiging weapons. I know a lot of people that aren't a fan of prestiging your weapons but I do know that prestiging your weapons is very very beneficial because obviously every time you level up your weapon you get a certain amount of XP. It may not be a lot of XP but you still do get XP and it does help. This one's really up to you guys. Obviously you can do two prestiges. Uh, you get the I think the clan tag on your gun and then you get your amount of kills on the gun. I think it should be the same as Black Ops 3. But yeah, that's just one thing that you guys could do. The next thing is very unusual, way more unusual than prestiging your weapons, and that is use your rocket launches now. This will make the process of unlocking dark matter a lot easier. You won't have to cram it in. You won't have to hope that people absolutely destroy so they get streaks. If you start using your rocket launcher now, 
it will help you in the long run. Equip it as a secondary and every time you AV or score streak is called in, shoot it down. The reason why I say this is because you firstly get those medals, which gives you XP, and then you also get camos every now and then. I think it's only like, uh, I don't know if it's 100 um, score streaks to be shot down or 200, but you still do get camos and those obviously help you as well. And also another big tip is definitely prestige your rocket launchers because you don't, obviously there's no attachments and then every time you level it up, you do get more XP. You just don't want to waste any XP. The next step is to look at your challenges and complete a few of them. There are a lot of simple challenges that don't require any time. So maybe like using stock or using quick draw or you like getting kills with the annihilate. Obviously they do require time, but you don't actually need to go out of your way to complete these challenges. If you can just do them during the game and get these challenges done, that's awesome. The final tip that I have for you guys, and this one is a big one, this one's one that many people don't actually think about, and that is use good specialists that actually help the team, not only you. Some examples include the Sarah with the attack deploy that it has. You get, I think, 25 points for every time someone spawns on your attack deploy. With Recon, um, the Vision Pulse, every time you Vision Pulse someone, uh, or the opposite team in general, you get heaps of points from that. The sensor dart as well um, gives advantages to the team, and I believe every time someone kills someone inside that sensor dart like radius, you get the you actually get an amount of points as well. In my opinion, the best specialist to use for leveling up would be Crash. The assault pack gives your teammates ammo, and every time they get a kill, they actually get increased points. Those points also go to you, and the attack five as well, which gives them an extra 50 health, which is unbelievable that's a lot of people underestimate it but um every time they get a kill you'll get a certain amount as well as i said before a lot of this may be little amounts of xp but in the long term trust me it will help anyway guys that's the end of today's video i hope this helps you guys out if you guys got any tips put them in the description down below i hope you guys did enjoy if you did smash that like button subscribe turn on post notifications to get notified every time i go live and upload and i'll see you in the next video peace